Based on the multi-award winning comic book created by best-selling writer Brian Michael Bendis and artist Michael Avon Oming, Powers is the story of homicide detective Christian Walker, a former superhero who lost his powers under devastating circumstances. Haunted by his past, Walker now investigates Powers-related crimes with his fellow officers in LA's Powers Division, all while trying to come to terms with being ordinary. Your real name is Walker, like as in one who walks because he can't fly anymore. Set in Los Angeles against today's celebrity-obsessed culture and 24-hour news cycle, Powers takes place in a world where everybody with a superpower is searching for fame and fortune. So if you live in a universe where the standard of greatness is you can fly, it's easy to see where those would be, you know, venues to becoming famous. And the thing that superheroes often don't have, because they are, um, by definition, superhuman, they're often physically invulnerable. But in this show, they have all the vices and virtues of regular mortal beings. In Powers, we have a story where people have powers and they don't care what they do with them. Just like real humans do in this world, if they get to a position where they have fame, then some people just do what the hell they want with it. These kids, we don't have to respect them, but respect the fact that a fireball could come shooting out of someone's chest if he gets rugged up. As with any great comic, the story of Powers begins with a great origin story. Before he was a fan favorite on some of Marvel Comics' biggest properties, Brian Michael Bendis created Powers as a passion project with his good friend, artist Michael Avon Oming. The early issues of Powers, it's just us. I, I lettered the book. Like, like you, you're doing everything you can to get the book published. When my son was just born and I needed to bring in some extra income, so I chose a job where I could still continue to get away with drawing, kind of like when I was in high school. So the first couple of issues was actually drawn in a security guard booth in the middle of the night, in the middle of a giant sea of cars. Its unique point of view on the world of superheroes earned Powers the prestigious Eisner Award for Best New Series and a huge cult following. A passionate fan base made casting for Powers especially pressure-filled. But the show's creators weren't focused on matching the look of the comic book character. It was always about the acting choices first and the visuals second. This was about the characters from the inside out, not from the outside in. Charlto Copley plays the fallen power turned detective Christian Walker, and he, for one, relished taking on the role. Walker is a guy who used to have superpowers and lost them, and he's now a cop working at a police unit called Powers Division, which is responsible for, in as much as they can, policing behavior of powers in the universe. And this guy, when he had his powers, he was a bit of an asshole. And so losing him humbled him, and he's kind of wondering how would he be if he could get them back? Would he be a better person this time? What the hell was that? I locked the car. What did he mean? Powers! Okay? He has my powers! Walker is accompanied by his hard-hitting partner, Dina Pilgrim, played by Susan Hayward. The response to Dina was anything you'd ever want as a storyteller. But that made casting, I wouldn't say difficult, but like, you know, what are we gonna do? Like, we gotta find Dina. When we saw Susan Hayward, her audition tapes, within 10 seconds, we're like, am I crazy? Like, am I getting too excited about somebody that quickly? But she immediately felt like Dina. I played Dina Pilgrim. She is a police detective who gets paired up with Christian Walker, who was uh, an ex-power. And so my job is to find a way to make that partnership work and solve cases. The biggest star in the Powers world is the beautiful and iconic retro girl, played by Michelle Forbes. She's truly altruistic about what she's doing. She truly believes in doing good in this world, which I think is also what causes her so much suffering. And what superhero story would be complete without a villain? In Powers, Eddie Izzard plays Wolf, the killer with a complicated past involving Walker. How does it feel, Christian? In your heart, I mean. How does it feel to be powerless? Known for telling high-quality stories within video games, PlayStation was looking to create its first original scripted series. 
and as we were kind of trying to decide where we might want to find a place for it, who else might be interested in it, PlayStation came in and they said, this feels like it's a great fit. Working with uh, PlayStation and Sony directly, we're completely involved. So this is our vision on screen. And by debuting on PlayStation Network, the show creators knew that they could take the kind of risks that a regular cable network might not allow. We are a rated R independent comic about superheroes at their worst, and we needed a home like PlayStation. The fact that it's on PlayStation hasn't affected how they make the show. If anything, it's given us more of a license to kind of make the show a little more gritty, a little darker. The immense scale of the show's production rivals anything you'll see on TV. The scale of the physical production in the show is uh, epic. Fans of the Powers comic should keep an eye out for Oming's art, along with that of other famous comic book creators seated throughout the background of the show and in the props. There's such a richness and such a wealth of material there, and such interesting characters. And I think they've been able to draw on all of that and at the same time create something completely new out of it. Every detail serves to enrich the story and the characters. In this world, not everyone has power, or even wants it, but everyone is affected by it. When I originally pitched the show, I told people exactly where this thing was going, so I can, I can close my eyes, I can see very clearly, you know, who's left standing. Fair warning, everybody, I'm not a happy ending guy. <laughs> Tune in for the series premiere on March 10th and stream new episodes Tuesdays on PlayStation Store. PlayStation.